But first to our top headline today, the CBI has made its biggest arrest till date in the VVIP chopper deal and for the first time the head of our services has been arrested. They have arrested the former Air Force Chief SP Tyagi on charges of corruption in the 3,600 crore Augusta Western Helicopters deal case. The first time a former service chief has been arrested in a corruption case. The CBI has also arrested a lawyer Gautam Khaitan and middleman Sanjeev Tyagi. The CBI has arrested all three on charges of criminal conspiracy, cheating and corruption. The Augusta Westland chopper deal scam refers to the 360 crore rupees that were allegedly paid as kinkbacks by Finn Mechanica, the parent firm of Augusta Westland, to clinch the deal of 12 helicopters for the Indian Air Force. This was when the UPA was in power. Tyagi was the Indian Air Force chief between 2005 to 7, And uh, it was during that period that the final deal was processed at the Air Force headquarters. However, Air Chief Marshal Tyagi continues to deny his role in Augusta Westland. In fact, in June last year, when he was exonerated by a lower court in Italy, he had spoken to me and insisted that he had been wrongly accused. Listen in to what he had to say then. India today has accessed a certified English translation of the court in Italy which not only acquits you but says there was no scam whatsoever in the purchase of Augusta Westland. Do you feel today vindicated? Yes, I am vindicated. Uh, in fact, Rajdeep, uh, I knew the truth. Remember, I, while well, you know, all sorts of stories might have been told, but I knew the truth. I knew that we had done a decent job. I knew, knew we had done an honest job. When I say we, I mean all of us in the Indian Air Force. Uh, and there was no truth in the allegations. So, whilst I'm happy that the Italian courts have said what they have said, uh, I always knew the truth. You always knew the truth, but in a sense, the public didn't know the truth, and the public, in a sense, yes. saw you as an air chief marshal who was almost in the dock. So, in that sense, do you feel your honor is being restored as a result? If the Italian court, it, it, it's taking an Italian court to possibly restore your honor as a soldier. Yes, uh, many of the Italians have actually come on record on the television and said, we are so glad that Marshal Tyagi, as they, as they use the term, that his honor has been restored. But my honor will be fully restored when the Indian end of when this the investigation. So you're saying only when the CBI closes the case will your honor truly be restored because you, it would appear that the Indian system has failed you. If, if, it, uh, if this story now plays out in the way it does and the CBI also finds no evidence and closes the case, then you're saying your honor will be truly restored. That is true. I, what the Italian court says is only one thing. I want the Indian system to say that the Indian air ch chief or former air chief has been wronged. I want the Indian system to vindicate. I want the Indian system to say, okay, we have, okay, we've had an inquiry, that's history. We are having an inquiry, in fact. But when that system vindicates me, I will actually feel happy. Are you feeling today that the Indian system in that sense failed you, sir? Well, the manner in which the case yes. played out in the media, in the CBI, the political establishment, the UPA going ahead and cancelling the Augusta Westland deal, you were in a sense ostracized, dare I use that word. Did the Indian system fail you, sir? I believe yes. I believe yes. Why is an honest man hounded? Why is an honest system hounded? Not only me, remember what it did to my family, my personal life, my friends. But also remember what it did to the Indian Air Force. This has been an unhappy chapter. Therefore, saying that the UPA government of the time and the Defence Minister A.K. Antony got carried away by all the surround sound and should have waited before scrapping the contract on mere allegations or in a sense allowing FIRs to be filed without actually going through the case. I will not comment on the government of the day that I served, uh, Rajdeep, I will not. But I will like to say one thing, that it is the job of those who are elected to protect this nation and to run the government, to say, to believe in the truth, and if, when they know the truth, and this time they knew the truth, then to thumb the table and say, 
this is job has been done honestly with integrity remember all uh, after all uh, these statements have been made on the floor of the parliament on their websites by the cag by all the indian systems all the papers were with us two governments rajdeep it's not two governments have taken the same view on this case two and to say most two yes, nsas yes. more than one air chief took the same view on the augusta west the chopper entire case who's who of india please understand when this decision was taken the nsa was chairing it the director ib was there the spg boss was there the secretary security was there the defense secretary was there and the deputy chief of air staff was there it, it was a collective decision and you became the fall guy in that sense i would like to believe yes And joining me now from Abu Dhabi is another key player in the Augusta Westland case, someone who's been accused uh, of taking kickbacks in the Augusta Westland case. Christian Michel, appreciate your joining us. Former Air Chief SP Tyagi arrested today. Your reactions to that arrest, what do you have to say about it? Is the net closing in now on the beneficiaries of Augusta Westland? Well, um, I'm very sorry for the, the chief. It's my, my opinion and just my opinion, but I don't think he had a, a major role to play in this um, uh, story. Um, the, the, the whole height issue, which is the main thing he's accused of, um, in 2005, the company wrote to the uh, Ministry of Defense saying they could achieve 6,000 meters. Um, then they wrote again saying they could achieve 6,000 meters with minor applications. Um, I don't think there was a need to change the height. And whether or not one man has the power to change the height, I doubt that very much in the Indian system. That, that's so I, think the, it's un, I think it's unfair. You think that's it's unfair? Think. One minute. If you think it's unfair, are you saying he was acting as a front for someone else? Are you saying the CBI has deliberately misled the country by arresting SP Tyagi? Because Italian courts have also named Mr. Tyagi, Chief Marshal Tyagi and his cousins. And reportedly, there were two middlemen, Yudo Hashke and Carlo Gerosa, who were apparently the connect to uh, Air Chief Marshal Tyagi and in some way connected to you as well? Yes, no, I mean, they, they were connected to him. Um, I don't think he denies that. I don't think he realized uh, how they were using his name. Um, it may be that um, he received some gratification from them. Uh, it may not be, I'm not aware of that, but I'm quite sure there was something else going on. Um, what was um, your role? What was your role, Mr. Michel? Because if Air Chief Marshal Tyagi has been arrested today, if Julie Tyagi is arrested, if Gautam Khaitan is arrested, you're away in, uh, in Abu Dhabi. In the past, you've said that you are more than willing to cooperate with the authorities. Are you now willing to face a CBI in investigation? No, I welcome it. I welcome it. But my, my Why don't you come to this? India then? Why don't well, you come to India that, and face the law? That's the point. Uh, I've wrote, uh, written to uh, everybody about this. I would be happy to do that if I could be guaranteed that I will not be kept for years while the investigation goes on. I have a young family. I need to make a living. Mm -hmm. And I can't afford to spend years languishing, um, waiting for um, a decision because th these things do take time. But you are willing, you are, so you are willing to come only on your terms. The big question, of course, is with the arrest of Air Chief Marshal Tyagi and the Tyagi brothers, there will be now uh, the belief that they they may only be the small fish that the real big fish have got away you're saying in fact on this program that you believe air chief marshal's arrest is unfair who do you believe then was responsible can one man alone be responsible for taking a decision of this kind particularly when he wasn't even the air chief marshal at the time well exactly exactly one man can't do that and furthermore from the knowledge i have which is in depth and i've seen all the documents the company didn't even want the height changing mm -hmm. because they could achieve it so who got the kickbacks I, then who do you believe got the pay did you get well, look, i mean i mean I, basically, is there is there a politician is there a politician who's being protected well i tell you what what you have to do is look at the evidence um money was was taken out of augusta westland by over invoicing according to the judgment the first judgment and the second judgment mm -hmm. in the italian court that money went to Tunisia, mm -hmm. and from Tunisia it went to Mauritius, mm -hmm. and from Mauritius nobody knows where it went. The people who control that account know what went on. You don't send money to Tunisia and then to, to Mauritius if you're going to do something lawful with it. 
the question is the, the question is the amounts that mr tyagi is uh, ache marshal tyagi is accused of taking are very small and the actual kickbacks are much higher so someone has got the major chunk of kickbacks and they have got away i'm accused of laundering 6 crores that's right <laughs> mr tyagi i don't know what he's accused of but i'm sure it's peanuts there's big money we know where it went it went to mauritius Mr. Kishan is one person who would be able to help on this, but the two who need to be brought to India, or mm -hmm. well, most importantly, if anyone has to be brought, it's it's Guido. You're saying that the key, you're saying the key to Augusta Westland is with Guido Hashke. Is that what you're I, claiming? I've always said, I've always said this. Yes. But many believe that you are also the key, so we should have both you and Hashke back in India, Mr. Michel. Well, that's that's a very interesting question. Because would you agree that it would be very unfair? It was the only one in India, and he didn't come, seeing he has all the information. He forged documents. He forged my signature. He said on phone taps he needs to destroy the chairman of um, Fimacanica, Mr. Giuseppe Orsi. Mm -hmm. This is the center of the web. Is Mr. Hashki? So you're saying that the arrest of uh, Air Chief Marshal Tiagi is not the key. The key is the return of Judo Hashki. The key, some would say, is that is you facing the law in this country. Yeah, no, the key is definitely Guido Hashki. There, there. Okay. You don't move money to Tunisia and into Mauritius if you're going to do something legal. Okay, let's leave it there. Let's leave it there, Christian Michel. I appreciate your joining us and talking to us on that big breaking story this evening. Thank you. Hear from you. Thank you very much. Thank you.